Initiatives are short-term projects to help reach a goal, typically to improve performance and can include a number of tasks and milestones. For example, I may be the head of marketing and be responsible for generating a high number of ad clicks. I might use a dashboard like this to track its actual performance per month versus the goal of 1500. If I start to witness a continuous downward trend like I'm showing here for 2019, I might decide that it's time to take some sort of action. And that's precisely where an initiative might step in. The question is, what should I do to reverse this trend? After brainstorming, I might decide that if we can improve our ad campaign and refine our target audience, we can increase our ad clicks, which will hopefully increase our leads and our sales. Within initiatives, I could create a campaign to increase quantity of ad clicks. Beneath the initiative, I can create tasks and milestones to help achieve the initiative. For example, I might come up with a game plan to have my colleague Tom refine our headline and target audience for our ads and grant him $2,500 for each of those tasks. After six months, I plan to meet with Tom to discuss the campaign. To facilitate the meeting, I plan to discuss it over a long lunch and a lot $200 for it. Once I have the entire initiative defined with budgets and timelines set, I can turn things over to Tom to perform the research and keep me posted on the progress. He can do that via status updates, where for each task he can enter a budget spent to date along with a percent complete. For example, on the refine ad headline tasks, we might be on time and under budget. On the refine target audience task, we might be on schedule and over budget. Next, I'll select the initiative and scroll down to show that Spider Impact displays information about how an initiative is affecting a scorecard item. For example, I see that the impact of this initiative on the increased lead generation objective is a positive one. To get more information, I'll click on the green icon. and I see that the overall impact is based on two factors. The actual performance of the scorecard item and its performance trend. The actual performance is determined by comparing the scorecard item's current score with what it was projected to be based on the scores from before the initiative started. The performance trend is determined by comparing the angle of the tread lines from before and after the initiative started. If the trend is statistically significant, then the initiative is having a positive impact. Two positive impacts combine to an overall positive impact, as shown here. And with that, I'll select Close. Another option is to monitor the progress of an initiative within charts and reports. I could have built an initiatives report like we see here to track it and perhaps pay the most attention to the money spent to date and the percent complete columns. Another option is within dashboards where I could have put another dashboard together named increase ad clicks to scrutinize the performance of the measure and initiative at the same time. The graph at the top is similar to the one I showed before, but this one displays data for July 2019 through June 2020, as opposed to just 2019. Thankfully, the downward trend stopped immediately after the initiative was enacted in January. In the bottom left, I can include a timeline widget to reinforce that the boon in ad clicks performance was driven by this initiative. It was completed on time and on budget, and our ad clicks have been skyrocketing since it was implemented. By June, ad clicks were not only trending up, but were in the green for the first time since January 2019. In the bottom right, I can also include a note to summarize those findings. Okay, with that, I'd like to take a step all the way back and explain how this was put together. The first step is to create the initiative. I'll select Initiatives and then select new initiative item. At a minimum, I have to type a name and I'll just call it initiative. Under type, I'll confirm it's set to initiative. 
And since there will be sub items, I'll leave the start date, due date, and total budget blank. I'll then select create in the bottom right to create the initiative. To create a subtask, I'll click on the new initiative, select new initiative item, type task for the name, change the type to task, Let's see how it gets indented there underneath the initiative. I'll provide a start date of September 1st and a due date of September 30th and give it a total budget of 5000 In the bottom left, I can assign this to somebody by clicking within the box picking a person and I'll select Tom and then select create. To create a milestone I'll type milestone. I'll change the type to milestone. I'll set a due date of October 15th and I'll give it a total budget of 200. I'll then select Create. If I ever need to change something, I can select the item that needs to change. In this case, I'll select Task. If I need to decrease the budget in half, I can change the value to 2500 maybe. Now, since changing the budget is a big deal, I would likely check the Notify Assigned Users and Groups of Changes box to warn Tom that he has a lot less money to work with. However, to avoid bothering him right now, I'll just leave that blank. I'll then click Save to accept the change. Note that if I click Done, I'll see that with any changes in the setup, there is an alert shown. If I hover over the alert, I'll see a nice summary of the change that I just made to the budget. With that, I would now turn things over to Tom to work on the, on the task and keep me updated on the progress. He can do that by selecting the task and then selecting Add Status Update. For example, I'll select 915, provide a value of 50 for percent complete, and set the money spent to date to 2000. I would then select Add. And when I do that, the schedule and total budget boxes automatically get updated with red or green coloring. To simplify navigation at the initiative level, I'll add a related item to the parent objective of the Add Clicks measure. I can do this by clicking Add within Related Items. Then select Scorecard Item. Select Increase Lead Generation and select Add. Note that the impact icon is in gray. If I hover over it, I see that not enough data has been generated to determine the impact. Once there is, the impact will light up with a color. I'll now click on the related item and see that I get taken directly to the scorecards view. An automatic backlink is established within scorecards and that would take me back to the initiative. Another item I showed was a initiatives report. To build that I'll select charts and reports. And then work through that process I would select new report then select Initiatives Report and select Next. Under Current Filters I would then need to select Add, select Specific Initiative Items, and then select Next. I can confirm the appropriate org is already selected on the left and then select the desired initiative on the right and I'll click on Increase Quantity of Ad Clicks and then select Add. I would then select Done and Finish 
to complete the report. If I like it, I can then click Save in the bottom right, give it a name like Training, and select Save. Last but not least, I had created a dashboard to help facilitate the monitoring of the me measure in the initiative. I selected Dashboards, selected New Dashboard, gave it a name like Training, and then selected Create. Then clicked on the plus icon or the Add Widget option and selected Chart. I then selected Scorecard Item, expanded Increase Lead Generation, selected Add Clicks, and then clicked Add. And then selected the chart went into Edit and selected Edit Chart, chose Add Series, stayed with the Add Clicks measure, but in the bottom left switched it to Goal, and selected Done. And then changed the Goal color to Dark Green, and I changed the actual value to a navy blue and click done. Next, went back to edit and selected a option called show table. I can move the table to where I want it, maybe in the top right. And go back into edit mode and turn off those things that aren't appropriate. Maybe in this case turning off organization and series data. You can also then adjust the sizing of the box. I then clicked on the plus icon again and introduced a timeline widget. Selected the appropriate initiative, increase quantity of ad clicks, and selected add. And then clicked on the widget, repositioned it, and resized it. I then selected the plus icon one more time and added a notes widget. Selected scorecard item, expanded increase lead generation, and selected Add Clicks, selected Add. Drag that to the desired location. You can resize it. You can also go into Edit Mode for this one. Select the option called Display As and choose an option called Full Notes. And when I'm happy with the way everything looks, I can select Save and then Done. Okay, with that, I'd like to switch gears a bit to show that initiatives can be added as measures within a scorecard. I'll select scorecards and expand the initiatives as measures objective here. If I were to leverage initiatives as measures, the item I'd most likely track is percent complete, especially if it was an initiative spanning a long period of time. Using the add initiative, we see that in January through May, it was in the red. By June, we managed to pull things together and complete it on time and end up in the green. Another item we might track is percent of budget spent. I'll select that measure and I'll switch to March. That's where our goal was to have spent 50% 50, 50 of the overall budget by the end of the month. Unfortunately, we spent 52%, just a little bit higher, so we ended up in the, the yellow. Moving to June, our goal was to be done with the entire initiative and have spent 100% of the budget. And that's exactly what we did, so we ended up in the green. If I click Edit at the bottom, I'll quickly show how this was put together. Under Series, I selected Calculated. 
clicking on the equation, I selected an initiative as the type. Under initiative, I selected increased quantity of ad clicks. For the calculation, I divided the initiative's money spent to date by the total budget. And if I click on each of those two IDs, I can see where the, the numbers are coming from. And with that, I'll select Cancel and select Done.